welcome to World 2 of Jumping Flash! This is Test Pilot Monkey, and let's go and have a look at the Egyptian kind of world. Okay, starting off we can see uh, quite a few ruined columns and arches and things like that. And we're trying to beat up this plant. And we can see a jet pod highlighted right in front of us now, so, hmm, it's in the middle of this pyramid and we need to find uh, another way in because we can't get straight in the front of it. So, uh, there we go, it's our E-jet pod, which is helpful if we want to know which order to collect these things in. And I'm not quite sure where I'm going to now, going back to the pyramid for no particular reason. Well, there's a jet pod up there. Let's see if we can get up there. There's assumed to be this kind of stone cabin we've stood on now. And what letter is this? It's the T. Oh, obviously we collected in the wrong order. Anyway, we'll use these... Uh, well, we'll see these uh, Easter Island kind of heads there. And we'll uh, leave them behind. To carry on over these treacherous looking platforms to get, oh there's no jet pot over here, but we do find a firework, since obviously we used up all our fireworks uh, trying to kill off the boss, we need to pick up some more now. So we get some twisters from that plant over there, and we get the cherry bomb which is already on the platform. And uh, uh oh, watch out, some uh, birds crossing here, dropping some bombs as well, so let's uh, not get in their way. Let's make our way over here, see if there's anything of use to us over this direction. Well, it looks like another firework here. Yep, some uh, rockets. Make our way over to the monoliths over here. Oh, it doesn't look like there's much over here and there's uh, nothing over the edge. Ah, but we found out where our other jet pod is going to be hiding over there, so let's blast off over there. This is the X one. And uh, in turning around, we're getting blasted by the plants, but we'll just ignore them. I mean, it's probably what, pretty much what you can do for uh, most of the enemies. We can just ignore them and uh, go on about our business. And uh, now we'll head over towards this Stonehenge looking kind of place. Strange, I thought it was supposed to be kind of Egypt, but uh, well, there's the exit, and uh, hmm, where'd they put our jet pod? That was a lucky landing on the edge of that uh, pyramid, or it's more of a trapezoid there. And completely missed the column. So, yes, we're gonna have a look and see what we can get from the bonus ring. The bonus stage, but we gotta take into account that they've hidden some balloons behind us. Very sneaky move here. And uh, it's be quite tricky to actually burst these balloons because if you jump on them, sometimes one jump won't be enough. And your cannons aren't adjusted quite at the right height to just turn around and blast them. You have to look upwards. Which, since this was for the original PlayStation, you've got the uh, digital controls to try and aim and move about with, so you don't have the fancy analog sticks that uh, you would get later on. And uh, well, it looks like I'm probably going to get the uh, bonus round finished here. One more balloon left. There we go. Perfect. And we get an extra life for doing that as well, which is. Not too handy on the, the first set of screens since they're pretty easy, but uh, later on we might be needing them. Oh, we might be needing them right now. Oh dear, well Robert decided he uh, wanted to explore the void underneath and realised his mistake a, a little too late. So when uh, we die we get all the jet pods reset to their position, but uh, now we know pretty much where they are. So we're going to head off to those locations right now and uh, pick them up. But the one thing which you'll notice doesn't reappear is the bonus ring. Yes, obviously, because if we uh, 
kept on losing our life, we would get it back there, and uh, they didn't want that. So make our way up to the column again to get a nice vantage point to see where we've got our next jet pod located, and it's over there. And now just one more left to get. We'll use the Easter Island head as a jumping off point here. And look at all the land disappear below us and then quickly reappear again. You can only stay in the air for so long, of course. And once we're done with that, we just find our way over towards our exit platform. Past the uh, floating Stonehenge. And there we go. All right. <gasps> Okay, first chain broken, now we go on to the uh, next pyramid stage, and this time we're actually inside the pyramid. Ready to go? And so then our jumping abilities are uh, quite useless to us here, but hang on, it's a flashing wall. Yep, that's a, a secret wall which we can open up and sometimes find useful things yeah. behind. I mean, I suppose that could be very useful if you fared very badly against that plant there. But uh, all the little enemies, which we usually wouldn't be too bothered about because we'd be jumping straight over, we now have to take on one-on-one -on -one and uh, yeah, get blasted by them. And uh, let's see, our cannons are reasonably effective, but obviously our jump is much better. Yeah. So, ooh, there's a hole here, so we've got a bit of height, but uh, we can't really show off our jumping prowess around here. And yes, while we're focusing on that wall, we get to tap by some plants, so ha ha ha, we've got a power pill now. Take this. And they do some kind of have a uh, rabbit in the headlights look when we go charging towards them with the power pill there. Now we've got some moving floors around here. So, uh which wouldn't be a problem if we could actually use our jump, but uh, we've been restricted in that. But obviously Rabbit's, sorry, Robert's quite um, adept. That's not his only feature that he can show off. Oh yes, and accidentally throwing the cherry bomb at the wall there. Oh, look, a nice extra life for us. Which is quite useful after we decided to throw ourselves off for no reason. So we now got our full complement of fireworks up in the uh, top right there. Top left, sorry. Uh, make, around a, make our way around a little kind of maze of moving platforms and quite a lot of enemies stationed at uh, points. And um, we can see Robert's getting uh, quite flustered and so we need to get to the exit as quickly as possible. Oh dear, we're in the red now. And there's a spider in our way. I'm trying to find to uh, see if I can find any uh, carrots around here, but no. We're going to have to beat our way past this spider here. And uh, let's have a look in the corners here. Well, there's a cherry bomb. There's uh, some rockets. No, uh, well, we we'll get the rockets anyway. Uh, but uh, to stop that infernal beeping, we'll get on the exit platform and blast off out of here. Fortunately, when we um, complete a stage, we actually get our energy replenished for us. So after that, going on to the boss stage. And so in the desert, so what kind of boss stage could, boss could we uh, fight off? Well, of course, some kind of giant scorpion thing. We uh, quickly throw our fireworks into it to get it away. And since we uh, blew it up enough, it's now changed forms into this kind of walker bipedal thing, which can't really attack us, but uh, can aim straight for us and hurt us like that. 
and you might notice we can only attack the uh, the head part of the uh, the monster, but there we go, it's spinning around, blowing up, and we're going to take over the little podium here. All right. There we go, we save the desert, and we can bl blast back up into Universal City Hall and see the little cinematic. And then Robert heads off with not a pause towards the theme park land. See you next time.